All right, welcome back to another episode of Watching Shoes, Watches, and Victor in Sub Aquanoma and with a wooden face and a bronze case. And the shoe remains the same wingtip fry boot. I did a review on this boot. Don't hesitate to scroll down and check it out. So, what we have here, belts. I was checking out uh, the channel of Phil's Fashion. And he went over belts. And I was thinking, huh, that's an interesting topic for a YouTube video. Why not give it a try? Um, so, let's go through my favorite belts. This one is relatively, I, I, this is the second, this one is the newest one, and this one is, I don't know, let's, this is just the newest one, this one here, but um, this is just a, see if you can tell, if I zoom in real close, can you even tell what that is, I know you will if I pull it this way. That's a little hint there. Little white speckles. Right about here, you're gonna start to reel. Oh, okay. Yeah, so this is a Stingray belt. Indestructible material. So, pretty cool. That's the whole of it. That's number one. Number two is this one. The reason why I like this belt is just the intricate way that they designed it. It's just very, very unique to my eye. Um, got the little piece of leather. And all of this is like real. It can be moved. It's not like a, any kind of a prefabricated thing. It's just pieces of leather put together and woven together. So, I really like the oxblood color of this. It matches some really cool oxblood uh, shoes. Oxblood jacket. <laughs> it matches a lot of things that uh, burgundy slash oxblood. Kind of like my, my color. So, who made this belt? I do not know. The last belt was made by Los Altos, I believe. Um, this one, I'll show you the... Um, company logo but I don't know who that is I don't know if you can tell you can see how important they thought it was because look where they hit it that's and that's kind of the way I feel about logos for the most part it's just not relevant uh, if you know who that is don't hesitate to uh, say but I don't know nor do I care I just like the uh, the work the craftsmanship that went into it, the quality, uh, the materials, the feel and the weight of the belt. Just a cool design. So, then we have this one. It's a real nice plush leather. And then you get into genuine crocodile there. And you got the little broguing going on. I find this to be very, very classy. Um, matches the shoes I have on now. Really nice uh, color scheme in the broguing. And then... Uh, I'm really about the uh, actual uh, skins that are used. And this one, if you think about it, if I think about it, uh, once again, it doesn't really scream out who made it. It's just, do you like what you see? And I do, and I bought it. Um, thought that was really, really classy. Use of uh, hide skins, leathers, and stitches, dyes. It's really, really classy. But as far as who made it, it's not hard to find on this one because it's uh, on the back, Meslin. So great job, Meslin, on that one. And then we have this one. Can you tell what this is? I know the internet trolls, which do exist, strange enough, me and my little two-bit videos even bring out the trolls but the trolls will probably tell you that this is not real either but I'm gonna wait 
all the way till I'm done to see all the way till I get to the end to see if you can figure out what this is. The different looks and different angles of this leather. Some of you might have guessed it by now. Have you seen that before? If you see it this close, you probably did. <laughs> uh, unless you're in Asia, but if this is this is from Africa, so if you get this close to this animal, it's a good chance you breathe in your last breaths. That is. Uh, this thing came apart. I was wearing the heck out of this once I got it. I uh, was really a fan of this belt and the shoes that came with it. This is actually an elephant. This is an elephant hide belt. Also indestructible, just like the uh, Stingray. But I have to take this to somebody or stop being lazy and do it myself. And Well, I won't be able to do it myself because... My sewing machine that can penetrate this has never been assembled. I do have one, but it's never been assembled. So I'm going to need to take this to somebody who can penetrate this leather with a, a stitch and put this back together. Really, I just need a stitch to go across. Possibly uh, put this underneath it when you do it and we're back in business. All right. And then this is cowhide. Could be pony fur, but I think it's cowhide. It's a fake leopard print. This one became a favorite belt because it matches a shoe that I have. Um, the shoe is Bally, and it has cowhide slash pony fur and a leopard print, which is pretty similar to this one even has the same like furriness to it so that really helped this become a, a favorite belt of mine the person who made that is rl ralph lauren this one you would think would be gator if i'm not mistaken yeah i was really confused when i bought this um i didn't think it was gator because of the price and then i think somewhere on here it says gator and i'm like shouldn't y'all say embossed or embossed uh, gator or stamped gator but they don't and this is the best imitation gator I've ever seen so it's it does such a good job it has me thinking this is gator I have gator on uh, the next belt and I had gator on this one so you can see you can really see on the next belt but it did a heck of a job. I mean, the three-dimensional aspect of this is, is outrageous. So, really, really cool job. I'll show you who made it once we're done checking it out. There's the plates of the belly. There's the sides. I mean, just really good job. And as this pattern duplicates, it doesn't... It's not like this exact pattern is in the next section. It's like the next section is a completely different stamped gator so really cool really cool job so you're looking close i would wear this anywhere without the slightest hesitation because they did such a good job that it's not a it's not like uh it's not poorly done it's very really nice craftsmanship on this belt so i wouldn't even feel like i was trying to pass it off as something it wasn't it's just really well made and the people who made it are this is a reversible belt To me, let's see what this is. Cut calfskin croc aspect. Soft leather made in France. Um, calfskin croco aspect. I, everybody's got their own way of saying fake um, imitation gator, but she's this is sufficient for me with respect to it not being real. If you can make it this well, I'm good. <laughs> that, that That's not the least bit shady. Uh, just a beautiful, beautiful job. Beautiful craftsmanship. And last but not least, just the butter soft suede belt. Extremely soft suede. Extremely well made. 
and it goes over to hide leather go right on through and at the end we have genuine crocodile now imagine that because the fake crocodile which I have here no, no, don't go anywhere just yet check that out I mean can't ask for much more than that they did a heck of a job on this one Unbelievable. Um, yeah, I really like this. Anybody who played football knows that this is a really good setup for uh, your belt and longevity. Those football belts don't seem to ever uh, fade away. And also, this one is the same company as that other one. I don't know what that means. So if you do, please say so in the uh, comments. I don't know what that symbol is. I just know they made a really nice belt. So I just grabbed the belt. I'm pretty sure the company who made it, um, I don't know them, but they have great craftsmanship. So I didn't hesitate. All right, that's it. Thanks for hanging out with me on watching shoes. Don't hesitate to hit the like button and subscribe.